Nag-uusapan yung triang Hebrews. Sino ang pinanindigan nila? Sino ang niyakap nila? Sino yung ipinaglaban nila? Kanino nila ibinigay ang commitment nila? Gaano sila nagpadama ng lalim ng pag-ibig sa Diyos na tinayuan nila? Ang tanong ko ngayon, humanly speaking, makatarungan ba yung Diyos? Na pinanindigan mo siya, ipinaglaban mo siya, niyakap mo siya, pero pinabayaang may patapon ka sa burning fiery furnace? Uh, napakaganda pong unawain niyo po itong message na ito. Sapagkat dyan tayo nadadali ng kaaway. Nung naligo, nung naligo, tuloy, nung nalugi yung negosyo, di ba? Nung talagang nalugi yung negosyo natin, gaano karaming sisi ang inabot ng Diyos sa'yo? Gaano karaming pagbe-blame na ginawa mo sa Diyos? Nung nagkasakit ka, ano ang naging damdamin mo sa Diyos? Hindi ba parang siya pa nga mo? Para pang, di ba, kung talagang nandyan siya, kung talagang mahal niya ako, ba't niya ako pinaranas ng ganito? Higit kanino pa man, itong mga nanindigan na ito, itong yumakap sa kanya na ito, itong triang Hebrews na ito, ang po pwedeng magpapanaguyat, magsasabi, Diyos, tinayuan ka namin ni Diyos, talagang niyakap ka namin ni Diyos, talagang susunod kami sa iyo, pero bakit mo pinabayang heto, pinatapon kami? Walang ganun eh. Pansinin niyo po, Tingnan niyo po kung gaano ka-amazing itong story na ito. Mga kapatid, mga minamahal, verse number 19. Daniel chapter 3, verse number 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. Grabe, ano ho? Verse 20, And he commanded the most mighty man that... Uh, were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, their hats, and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Mga kapatid, actual na ipatapon sila. ba? Diba? Verse number 22, Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, And the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Na ipatapon po talaga sila sa naguumalab na init ng burning fiery furnace, mga kapatid. Verse number 24, Then Nebuchadnezzar, The king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Di ba tatlo yun? Yung ipinatapon natin in the midst of the fire. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king, pinapagtibay nila, totoo po. Verse 25, He answered and said, Lo, I see poor men loose. Tatlo yung ipinatapon natin, nakagapos, pero ang nakikita ko, apat. Na kung saan, walang gapos, mga minamahal. Walking in the midst of the fire. E ki Peter nga, humanga tayo, lumakad sa ibabaw ng tubig. Eh. ba diba? Pero nalubog. Eh. Ito po naglalakad. ba diba? In the midst of the fire. At lumalakad sila in the midst of the fire. Ang sabi po, they have no hurt. Naranasan niyo po, kanina po, nabigla ko eh. Ininom ko po yung hot tea. Eh, hindi ko na-realize, mainit pala yung hot tea. Ha? Yung nagsapir yung dila ko eh. Hindi ko na ma-enjoy yung pagkain kasi napaso po ako eh. Ha? Hindi po apo yun, no? hot water lang po yun. Ito po ang sabi, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Amen. Ang mensahe po, kung ikaw ay ginapos, kung ikaw ay pinatapon, kung ikaw ay nilagay sa matinding kalagayan na para bang napakabigat ng kaparusahan o nung magiging halaga ng naging pagtayo mo sa Diyos, tandaan mo ito na sa kalagayang yan, ikaw ay sasamahan ng Diyos. Amen? Yes! 
Verse number 26, Then Nebuchadnezzar came near para makatiyak to the mouth of the virgin Paripurnes and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the meads of the fire. And the princess, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Grabe! What a testimony! I am telling you tonight, whatever struggles, whatever problems, gaano makatinding burning fiery furnace ang maranasan mo sa buhay mo, God will stand for you. And I am telling you tonight, our God is dependable. Ha? Pagtiwalaan mo siya sa sakit mo, pagtiwalaan mo siya sa hirap ng sitwasyon mo, pagtiwalaan mo siya sa problema mo, pagtiwalaan mo siya sa lahat ng mga atake sa buhay mo, mga kapatid. He is dependable. Verse number 28, Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's words and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. 